Consider yourself overwhelmed by gas prices and ready to buy an electric car, but you're not sure either Tesla Cybertruck or Ford F-150 is the better choice. To choose the best alternative, you began comparing the available ones. Tesla claims that the external shell of the Cybertruck is extremely durable and protects the occupants. On the other hand, the F-150 was created with durability and productivity in mind from the ground up. Tesla, a significant player in the automotive sector, plans to start mass producing its Cybertruck by the end of 2023. The CEO, Elon Musk, said that it would take two years for the goal to be eventually disclosed to the public. During a conference call with financial analysts last year, Musk said that the new model's manufacturer will start in the middle of 2023. The company stated that. The new model is being built in Texas. The company's growth is expected to be significantly aided by the new model, even if revenue won't be reported until early 2024 because of a lengthy ramp up and until the second half of that year. The article also mentioned that potential buyers who paid USD 100 to reserve a Cybertruck would have to wait a further 12 months. It's almost time for one of the most eagerly awaited and followed electric vehicle debuts in history. So are you excited to see the new Cybertruck from Tesla? Furthermore, Tesla has challenges given that Ford's F-Series is the most well-known car in American history they might perform. Better than one would anticipate from a truck with high-end projects and specifications, the ultimate cost of the model, the vehicle's production model, and the management strategy for the battery supply remain unknown. Despite many speculations to the contrary, Tesla's famed 4,680 batteries will be used in the Cybertruck. Sam, additionally, I made a claim as an analyst for Guidehouse Insight that Tesla has not been able to increase internal battery production, which could result in a further delay of the Cybertruck beyond the end of 2023. Additionally, the business might have to adapt the Cybertruck batteries to utilize standard 2170 batteries. Musk also stated in a well-submitted statement from last year that the Cybertruck wouldn't be limited by the 4,680 batteries and that the battery output was growing exponentially. But Ford's electric vehicle deliveries began last year and the demand was so great that reservations were closed. Ford is clearly on the rise because Hummer and Rivian launched a year earlier than Tesla. The rumor spread because the most recent drone footage from Tesla's Texas Gigafactory showed the huge equipment needed to build the Cybertruck being purchased in parts. A 9,000-ton gigapress made by the Idra Group will be used for machine assembly, while the Tesla model will use a 6,000-ton gigapress. Elon Musk clarified why the Cybertruck needed more than 6,000 tons in a recent interview with Tesla Rowdy. He stated that the new model would use larger casting machinery for the rear body because the Cybertruck is a larger vehicle with a long truck bed that can store many loads. Although it costs about $40,000, the entry-level F-150 with two motors and all-wheel drive is slightly more expensive than a Cybertruck with one motor. A Cybertruck with two motors is somewhat comparable to the F-150 Lightning. It was previously reported that the top-tier Cybertruck, which has three motors, would cost about $70,000. In addition, the model has more hardware and features, such as an extra motor for improved performance and greater range. The Cybertruck spells the most common misunderstanding that electric vehicles cannot tow, with a towing capacity of up to 6.35 tons. This model is expected to be an interesting option in the U.S. market. Furthermore, the first build of the model will be completed in the second half of 2023, and a delivery event is planned following the commencement of manufacturing. Musk revealed the Cybertruck in 2019 and said the designer had broken the panes made of armored glass. The company pushed back the original manufacturing target three times from late 2021 to late 2022, then to early 2023, and finally to mid-2023, and finally to mid-2023. With the launch of the Cybertruck, Tesla will gain entry into one of the most lucrative U.S. markets for electric vehicles, EVs, joining the ranks of manufacturers like Ford Motors and Rivian Automotive, both of whom have only produced a limited number of models. Due to a shortage of supplies, Musk said in January 2022 that the premiere will now take place in 2023. While Musk stated that the company had more orders than it could fulfill three years after the first Cybertruck went into production, Tesla began accepting orders from North America in May. The F-150 Lightning variant shares design considerations with its gasoline-powered and hybrid predecessors. There are notable front-end variations, though, and the Ford F-Series has been North America's best-selling vehicle. The success of Tesla's investment in larger cast pieces was demonstrated by the Model Y, which was constructed with a single rear body piece that replaced 70 separate parts. Because of the large casting technique's popularity, a lot of companies are trying to emulate Tesla, and last year, Idra reportedly spoke with more than six manufacturers about the casting technology. It might take several years to include the concept into any car program, though. When can we anticipate seeing the all-new Cybertruck?
Rather than a traditional tailgate, the Cybertruck features an extended telescopic ramp on its 6.5-foot truck bed. The door of the new variant would withstand bullets from a 9mm handgun and is also more robust. However, the Cybertruck has a higher load capacity than the F-150 variant because the latter features a single cab version with a 5.5 foot long bed. In terms of interior design, the Cybertruck is more of a futuristic minimalist tribute than a useful room created by humans with its abundance of buttons and knobs. With a plethora of media and cruise control buttons on the steering wheel and many buttons encircling the primary touchscreen forward, however, here is headed toward a buttonless future. Therefore, the F-150 is the greatest choice if you're seeking for classic vehicle control methods because it can achieve more from a safety standpoint. Because of its triple motor drivetrain and high output battery, Cybertruck outperforms the F-150 Lightning in terms of performance. The model, according to the manufacturer, can hit 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. Uh, the F-150 can, however, accelerate to 60 miles per hour in just four seconds. The Cybertruck comes in four different versions, all of which have rear wheel drive with a single motor. On the other hand, the F-150 is available in a wide range of trim levels, all of which have four X4, X4 and a dual motor system. When contrasting Tesla's long delayed EV Cybertruck with Ford's electric pickup truck, the F-150 Lightning Ford CEO Jim Farley made fun of Tesla CEO Elon Musk and unveiled a partnership with DTE Energy that revealed the greatest purchase of renewable energy by both firms. Additionally, Farley stated that Ford is on a mission to spearhead the electric and digital revolution for a large number of people. The Lightning model, which is now produced in Dearborn, Michigan, is Ford's shining example. By 2023, it will be typical to see electric pickup trucks. The Cybertruck is nothing new. Expectations have been high for the model. And after driving a production beta version, Musk recently declared that the car was incredible. Additionally, he stated that because the company has had over a million pickup orders, there would be a lot of reviews of the Cybertruck. Elon Musk recently acknowledged that he toured the Cybertruck production line for many hours and that the first phase of the electric pickups manufacturing is nearly finished. Furthermore, he mentioned that the Cybertruck manufacturing lines have been built and that a production area is beginning to take shape as production gets closer. Despite numerous setbacks, notably COVID-19, production delays have impeded the supply chain's efficiency and battery cell availability, but Tesla is still on track to begin manufacturing in the near future. Franz, the head vehicle designer for the car maker, added that the truck's dimensions and features were predetermined even while the company worked to improve the design. With the Cybertruck, which will employ even larger single casting pieces, the automaker is further extending its technical reach. Now that it has been confirmed that Tesla's new press has arrived in Texas, the company will hold the two largest presses in the world. Both are expected to be utilized for the manufacture of the Cybertruck after the press is erected, though volume production is not expected to begin until 2024. This summer is when production will start. It's unknown if the second press will be used for higher volume production or if both will be needed from the start of operations. Which model then is your dream car? Kindly let us know in the comments. I sincerely hope that everyone found the video and the content entertaining. If so, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Please feel free to add any insightful comments in the space provided. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in another one.